Looking to add YouTube music to your Discord server? Well, I'm gonna show you how to do that for free. Here at the desktop, I have my Discord server already open right now. I'm just gonna minimize that. And we're gonna head over to the Yuzo website. The official URL for the website is yuzo.xyz. I'll make sure I link that in the description below. To add the server, it's pretty simple. It's gotta go ahead and click on the invite now option. And it's gonna pop over in an authorization page. And we're gonna select the server. I only have one server here, which is my main GeekR server. And I select that server and then click on continue. In order for this to run smoothly, you wanna make sure you enable all the permissions. But if there is anything that you're uncomfortable with, you can just uncheck it, click on authorize, do the captcha I'm human, and it's gonna be added to my server. And here we are inside the Discord server. You can see that the bot has been added to my server. Now you wanna make sure that this bot does have administrative privileges. You can go into roles and make sure that the admin is selected. Um, or if you have a specific role, like a bot role, you can have that selected as well. Now, if you don't know how to do that, you can check out my server setup guide right over here, and I'll walk you through those steps. The next thing that you can do is set a default channel for the bot. So all the commands go into one area. You type in slash set default channel. You can see it comes up over here. And then you can type in the channel name. If you have a specific channel that you want it to be put into, you can go ahead and type that in there. Uh, I could put it in as general and then hit enter. Now it's been set as the default text channel for all the commands. We're in the general channel. And now what we wanna do is just connect to a voice channel so we can listen to everything. And I'll connect to my music channel over here. The number one complaint I had on my last music bot tutorial was you can't play music from YouTube. And that was with Chipbot. But with this one, you can. Let's go ahead and test that out. We're going to type in slash play. There we go. We have the whole bunch of options here. So the first one is just to play a simple track. And then I'm going to put in the URL of the track that I have over here and then hit enter. There you go. So it's working. And I hope you're enjoying the video. If you did, please smash that like button. It helps me reach as many users as possible. And then you have music controls so that you can just turn it off. It automatically stops playing it. So now if you want to take a look at the commands, you just type in slash. And you can see I have a lot of different bots installed on my server right now. I want to make sure you select the correct one, which is this one right over here. And then we have all the options listed in here on what to do and how to use it. You can use jump tracks, the autoplay, karaoke option, uh, last.fm. If you have an MP3 on your computer, you can play the file directly from there. You have the search option. Let's go ahead and type in search and let's just try Drake over here. Hit enter and it's going to go out there. It's going to search for tracks. So I'm going to go ahead and choose a track over here. You can trick anyone. I'll just pick this one. So it's playing the track from the video. Uh, that means you get the intro, you get the outro, you get everything that's in the actual video itself. So this is part of the video and that's why I get a little bit of talking at the beginning. And you can go ahead and do that for a bunch of tracks, create your own playlist and let it play. All right, so I'm grabbing another track here. I'm gonna play it. And this is just to show you lyrics. So I put it in, it's playing right now. And if I click on the lyrics button, it automatically populates the lyrics of the song. So this is a really cool feature. I haven't seen this in too many other players. It displays the lyrics as long as it's already embedded into the song on YouTube, it'll pull it out and it'll display it on the screen. So that's another nice feature that's built into this bot. So not only does this bot support YouTube and SoundCloud, but it also supports Spotify and Apple Music. You just have to connect your account to that. I'll make sure I link everything in the description below so you can easily find it. And I'll make sure I also add in the creators of this bot. They also have a Patreon and other ways to support them. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please smash that like button. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.